Hello, I'm Robert Castillo, multi-instrumentalist, music composer, producer, and arranger, painter, and stone sculptor. I was born in Kansas City back in 1992 at what is now Research Medical Center. I grew up north of the river and graduated from North Kansas City High School back in 2010. I then went off to North Central College in the Chicago area where I received an undergraduate degree as a jazz bassist. After this, I went to go live in Oregon where I received a job through AmeriCorps as the K-8 music teacher at Fossil Elementary School in Fossil, Oregon, a tiny town in the high desert of just under 500 people. This was a very monumental time for me as I really developed the ability to focus on creative projects that occupy a lot of time. After Fossil, I moved to Portland where I played in seven bands and had four part-time jobs. When I was living in Fossil, I had created a lot of music for a jazz sextet. After Fossil, I moved to Portland and formed this group and called it the Sextet. And then when I moved back to Kansas City in 2016, I reformed that group. In total, we recorded three albums, which you can find on any streaming service if you just search the Sextet. Now, I give a little bit of my music background because as you may notice viewing my work, there's a lot of musical influence and color and design in the visual work that you are looking at. I very much enjoy incorporating creative approaches from one type of creation to another. I really think that whenever one exposes themselves to that type of creation, that that is when, you're, when you really push the boundaries of what you can do and you can generate new beautiful works and maybe discover something new about yourself. Now I started painting in the spring of 2018. A friend of mine, who I'm not entirely sure to be honest how he knew I created visual art because I had not really advertised it much, he asked me if I wanted to host a solo show at the end of that year and knowing that I would have so much time to create I just painted and painted and painted, created enough work for that show and have been painting ever since. Painting has since developed into a passion that I love with all of my being. I love sitting at the easel, working on a piece for hours and hours and hours. Sometimes it's the first thing I'll do when I get up in the morning, you know, hours before I actually have to be at work or anywhere else. And I'll, I'll paint, sit down and paint for an hour. And that hyper-focused creativity is just, that's, that's the, the spice of life for me. Just being right there in the moment, paying attention to every minute little detail. How straight a line can be, how well colors blend into one another. It's that's everything for me. As you can see, looking at the variety of works that I have here on display, I really enjoy creating in a variety of different styles. We have bright geometric abstraction. That really was my first love of visual art. My favorite painter of all time is Vasily Kandinsky, and I'm so heavily influenced by his work, as, as you can likely see here. I also do realistic portraits, as you can see with some of the pieces that are here. I also really like creating images that are modernizations of images from my Mayan heritage. My father is Mayan. He speaks that language fluently, but did not share that with me. And so as a means of me trying to reconnect with my Mayan culture and ancestry, I work to recreate these images and, and bring them to today's attention. I don't have any formal education in visual art. The last time I took an art class was in seventh grade for a trimester and I got a C in the class. And so it's, it's really nice to not have any formal art education because having formal education as a musician, I learned all these shoulds and should nots, these do's and don'ts. And as I've been untraining myself to really create whatever I want to with music, I don't have to do that untraining process for myself with visual art. I'm just able to create exactly what I want to create, however I want to create it. And that has been such a liberating experience and process. You know, certainly there are some techniques that you are viewing here that I did search on YouTube to practice. For instance, the oil glazing technique where you apply very thin layers of paint on one another to create this optical illusion where light is passing through it to create this, this depth that's only visible with oil paints. But otherwise, it's really just you know, trial and error, going for it, trusting the process, knowing that 
the next step is very obvious for me. Even if I don't know what three or four steps ahead looks like, generally the next step is always very clear to me. And that's how I create with all the things that I make, is I just move confidently knowing that the next step is going to be there presenting itself to me and trusting that the culmination of all of these decisions that I like will ultimately create something, a completed piece of something that I like. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you for being here to enjoy these works. For more information about the music I create, the art that I make, the sculptures that I sculpt, please check out my website, www.robertcastillo.art. The music that we've been listening to is a piece that I composed titled In a Natural State by The Sextet.